Hi, my name is Kerry, designer and developer at Blue Leads. Today I'm going to walk you through how to quickly create a custom module in HubSpot. Now, the objective of this project is we're going to create this page, this section right here from our current Blue Leads website um, as a custom module so you can reuse it throughout the rest of the, uh, your template um, or your rest of your website. To get started, first you want to go on your your, your uh, website template. As you can tell, we have a basic um, uh, page uh, template that I just created, um, and we're gonna walk through the process of you know creating the uh, the, um, the custom module. <clears throat> to create a custom module, simply go go back to your content settings and make sure you're in design managers, and then click on custom module and click create new click on create make sure the custom module tab is selected click create and give your module a name <clears throat> in this case we're gonna call this a um, a two column um, module and click create now um, <clears throat> you want to make sure that you have all the information you need to get the, uh, the project completed so what we're looking at is we need a two column section uh, most likely it's going to be an image that you're going to be dropping into the uh, rich text area so basically what we're looking for is two columns or two sections of rich text area along with a uh, CTA to do this simply go back to your custom module click on add new fields click on rich text uh, uh, module and we're going to call this column one click on create Repeat, which text um, um, uh, field, column two, create. Um, <clears throat> let's go back to our to our design. Um, I think it's basically all we need to get the information to be ex uh, exported as an HTML. Um, you want to create your basic HTML. It's pretty much the same as you would um, in any any uh, build. But in this case, we're using Hubble to, to grab the information. <clears throat> so you create your, 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 your div or place order for the uh, information. And um, I usually um, put, give, a, give this a class and I usually just call it section wrapper. Everyone gives it a different name. Um, it's really up to you what you want to call it. Um, and then you want to click on this little snippet right here or click on edit, scroll down and copy your Hubble uh, uh, field right there. Copy that, put it into a div, uh, paste it, um, repeat for the second one. Put that into a div, <clears throat> paste it in there. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you need to do to create a custom module. Now let's go ahead and drop it on our page and, and see if we can get it to look anything similar to what we have on this page right here. So after creating your custom module, um, <clears throat> it's generally best practice to put your custom module in a flex column and this will allow you or your marketer to um, simply add a new module or remove one if they need to. Um, to do this, you want to go back to your template, uh, look for custom um, columns and uh, I mean flexible column and drop it in there, click on publish. Then after you've completed that, you go to your page um, you go to edit page, <clears throat> look for your uh, flexible uh, column, click on this one, and I think in this case we call this a two column module. So you want to type in two column and it pops up like that. Click on it, click add module. And then now that we've added our module, um, sometimes upspot is kind of funky, so you have to like refresh the page and add it again a second time uh, for the first time whenever you use like a flexible column, but that's just an upspot issue. Um, so now if we add our module in there, you click on the uh, module and you'll see that we have two columns, right? Two rich area, uh, text area column. Um, so we're going to go back to our page and we'll just basically just copy this content, <clears throat> drop it into column two like that, <clears throat> um, we'll just 
come here and grab just for the sake of you know this project um, we'll copy the image uh, copy the image address and we'll we'll drop it in, in here apply that and um, <clears throat> once you've as long as you've done like your your CSS uh, part of this by you know adding a class here um, maybe column one and give this one another class so column two Right. So as long as you um you <clears throat> go back to your CSS, add your classes on there, um you can have a quick output that looks something similar to this one, and that basically summarizes our uh, little lesson. Um, I hope you learned something from this. As you, can, as you can tell, it's super super easy to create a custom module in Hubspot. Um, just simply copy the uh the, the mod the uh the Hubble um content, drop it into your into your uh, HTML, and that pretty much all I need to do. That's it. Uh, we hope you find this helpful. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to assist you.